Hello everyone, what's going on? It is M10 here. Welcome back to another Terraria 1.4 Journeys and tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to be going over all of the wings in Terraria 1.4 Journeys End. Now, in the Journeys End update, there was a huge revamp to wings. They were all shuffled around in uh, order. They all got balanced differently. So they all have different stats to how they appear on Xbox, PlayStation, and other devices. So this is in regards to Terraria 1.4. Anyway, that's where I'll leave the commentary for now. Hope you enjoy.
Okay, so now that I have shown all the wings and how they work, I'm going to be teaching you all how to craft each one of them. So, starting with the fledgling wings. The fledgling wings are crafted on the creation of a journey mode character. Angel wings are crafted with 10 feathers, 20 souls of flight, and 25 souls of light. Demon wings are crafted with 10 feathers, 20 souls of flight, and 25 souls of night. Leaf wings are sold by the Witch Doctor for 75 gold in hard mode, but he has to be in the hard mode jungle at night. The frozen wings are crafted with 20 souls of flight and an ice feather. Harpy wings are crafted with 20 souls of flight and a giant harpy feather. Fin wings are a quest reward from the angler and there's a 1 in 70 chance for every quest after the 10th quest in hard mode only. Fairy wings are crafted with 100 pixie dust and 20 souls of flight. The jetpack is sold by the steampunker for 40 gold with specific moon phases active. All developer wings have a chance to drop from expert mode treasure bags in hard mode. They all have a chance to drop and have the exact same stats. The next sets of wings all take 20 souls of flight to craft, but the bee wings also need a tattered bee wing. The butterfly wings require butterfly dust. Bat wings require a broken bat wing. Flame wings require a fire feather. Spectre wings require 10 spectre bars. Beetle wings require eight beetle husks. And bone wings require a bone feather whilst the hoverboard requires 18 shroomite bars. So with those things mentioned, they all require 20 souls of flight with the recipe as well. Moving on to Moth Mothron wings. These are dropped by the Mothron enemy in the Solar Eclipse event. Festive wings are dropped by the Everscream. Spooky wings are crafted with 20 souls of flight and a spooky twig. Tattered fairy wings are crafted with 20 souls of flight and black fairy dust. Steampunk wings are sold by the Steampunker for 3 Platinum post Golem. Betsy's wings are dropped by Betsy. Empress wings are dropped by the Empress of Light. Fishron ring wings are dropped by Duke Fishron. The 4 Celestial wings, the Nebula Mantle, Vortex Booster, Stardust wings and Solar wings all require 10 Luminite bars and 14 of their respective Celestial fragments to craft. And meanwhile, the Celestial Starboard is an Expert Mode exclusive Moon Lord drop. Finally, the Soaring Insignia is a drop from the Expert Mode Empress of Light, and it makes all wings infinite flight, but it is a separate accessory slot. It also makes all rocket boots have infinite flight as well. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment, 
because this video did take a while to make, so I appreciate all the support I can get. Anyway, like I said, thank you very much for watching. If you've made it to the end of this video, let me know in the comments section down below by typing treasure bag. I really appreciate all your support. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time.